Hey folks, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to Skyrim. So, uh, in between episodes, what did I do? Um, smithed a whole bunch of crap. Ran all over, trying to get some more health potions because I had very few, so I had to go to a bunch of different holds and purchase everything they had. Um, remembered that uh, instead of alchemy, I can make uh, vegetable soup and venison stew, which will restore quite a bit of health. Um, not super quick, but it still does it, right? So, uh, made a bunch of those. We've got a decent amount of potions now. Uh, what did I do? Upgraded that helmet. Uh, I actually, while I was running around getting all sorts of materials and like spending most of my cash on ores and things, I picked up uh, some gauntlets of smithing and a necklace of smithing just so that we can make things a little bit better and I souped up the sword and my boots and my uh, gloves a little bit more. That being said, oh yeah, and I dropped off uh, a bow for, uh, I don't know what his name is, Jockey or Draven, Draven's bow, just outside of Riften. It was just, you know, a nothing kind of deal. Uh, the only other thing, oh geez, I did is uh, while I was in Windhelm, I realized that the quest wasn't bugged for the killer. It was that I was bugged. Because I was like, oh yeah, you just follow the blood. So I followed the blood to the uh, dude's house and we just got a new quest marker for that. But uh, that is everything. All right, that being said, let's... Uh, talk to Arn Gear. Oh yeah, I can level up. I just, I saved it. Um, health of stamina, health of stamina, health of stamina. Uh, let's see. Oh. Alright, and so we can level up. Let's go with advanced armors. Hopefully we'll get that arcane blacksmith shortly. We'll try and uh, get that as our next level up. Although we're close to leveling up again already. Um, I might just try and smith a whole bunch of crap again between episodes. Uh, we'll see. Alright, let's talk to Arnie. Regeneration, I don't care about regeneration. Can't you just have buddy? You guys are annoying. You kind of piss me off. Wind. Oh, thank you. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Hey. Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Oh, yeah, 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 I get it. The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Yeah, yeah. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? What 
What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. Uh, yeah. How about no? No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Oh, someone disagrees. Dickhole. Forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Obviously. Master Einar reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the voice. But not Dragonrand. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. But not Dragonrand. Oh jeez, come on. Only its creators have but not Okay, it's super annoying. Only its creators have I'm clearly but I am not the one to speak. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question. All right, well. If he so chooses. You weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Yep. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Alright, cool. Yell at me again, huh? me Isn't there one more you know you could teach me right here it's fine I won't tell anybody Okay. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way.
you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Yeah, thanks. My final gift is, uh... Stop the rain. Will blow away the mist. Time. The path to Parthenax is perilous. Not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving. Stay focused on your goal. And you will reach the summit. Thanks, bud. How are you surviving up here, you poor bastard? Yeah, while I was in Rift and I talked to uh, the one vendor and just said I'd get some teeth. Not a big deal. Perfect, because I think I've got two at home in storage. Body. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. 
It has been long since I held Tinbach with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Evanar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Drechnin Akib, discipline against the lesser, aids in Kachnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first oh, meeting yeah. of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thun. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dover King. If the word calls you, go to it. Yeah. Fire, Anya. Um, okay. Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlost. Oh, this guy's in the dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dovar's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, I had expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dovar. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. You know it. Mm, yes, they are very protective of me, Bachlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thun you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Okay then. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? What could be Alduin's ass? Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Pause. A fair answer. Rolf, 
Fus. Maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Ulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Okay, cool. Mm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? So you don't get killed? Uh... Okay, limited answers. Um... But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Mm, yes and no. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew. Better, Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Oh God! How to explain? I, I know what Elder Scroll is. Come on. The Dove have words for such things that Jor do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan. They are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. Yeah. But Obviously. this is only a small part of their power. So far, Surye. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Couldn't I just use a DeLorean? I mean, that'd be more fun. 
Krosis. No, I know little of what has passed below in the Keep long years Krosis. I have lived here. I don't like it, buddy. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. All right, well, that was a great chat, buddy. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin, others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovahkiin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? Yeah. There are three to master. Fus, Fine, and Yol. Refine. Fade in your tongue. Damn. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time. But the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Zi. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. All right, cool. Sure. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. Right, cool, you will buddy. push the world harder than it pushes back. All right, one more time. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Soljek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Oh. Sum Ark Mora, what will you burn? What will you spare? Okay, thank God. Return it here to the Teed Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scrolls bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. 
The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. All right, cool, buddy. I'll be back. Drem your look. Greetings. Sum Ark Moral. All right, let's just go over here. Wow, you are getting on in years, eh? Anything up here? No treasure chests? I walked all the way up here. You could at least do me one. One solid buddy. Get to the top. Oh, we're getting up. We're getting up. Ah, might as well. Oh god, please don't be one of those little demons come and knock me off the mountain. I just thought about that. It's, it's not a comforting thought. Okay, cool, cool. mind from the highest spot in the world or at least Skyrim sweet all right so do we talk to Arnie or do we talk to Esbern let's talk to Arnie make him feel a little bit important Okay, Lydia, you don't speak of this, obviously. Is that you? Huh. Dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? And so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. Good. We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scrolls you seek. Okay, well... Thanks, buddy. The Blades were born of dragon-hating crusaders. 
They still carry that legacy, although they may not remember from whence it came. Um. They carried out a genocide of dragons when they first came to Tamriel. And now, they will do it again. With your help. You do realize that, um... Never mind. Never mind. Perhaps not. But this shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Good chat. Breath and force. Good chat. Nice. Okay, so Winterhold. But to get to the Winterhold, actually, we'll go to Lakeview because it's free from here. Do I have stuff to put away? I don't think. You know what? I will check. Oh no, he topped me up on those, eh? Cool. And we got a bunch of dragon souls in the bank. I like it. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Sounds like a plan, buddy. Ready to go yet? Alright, we're at winter hold. Um and you'd have me do what? Join the college and prance about casting spells all day? Don't just walk away from me. Where do you think you're going? To the end, party break. Where else could I even go with this god's Now what? You think I can solve all your problems? No, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, you should get out of here, buddy. It's worth a try. You ask me, not enough. Nobody asked you. I don't think this guy's gonna attack. I think he's just gonna take off. Yeah, so much for him. Oh man, I don't wanna help the College of Winterhold. Ugh. Damn it. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Uh I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if in the process my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Do you? It is true there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. Nope. A small test, if you will. No! Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? 
I would be most impressed to see that. So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Yeah. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic. But you... I think there is much that we can learn from each other. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm not adding to the I'll college. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. No, no, no first lessons. No, not... Not happening. No damned wizardly crap. Just ain't happening. Ah, I don't need you. I know the freaking way. What are you looking at? And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? Can you even read? Yeah, smelly orc. Jeez. You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait, are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Alright. Mm-hmm. I'll ask, buddy. Oh my god, you couldn't just go the straightforward way. Oh, I don't want to listen to everybody talking with everybody else. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Arch... I have many important things on my Sure you do. Your concern... Good talk, buddy. Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? Nope. I'd much prefer not to see your damn pointy ears up in my face. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. Okay, effects of the Elder Scrolls. It is widely known among scholars that the Elder Scrolls entail a certain hazard in their very reading. The mechanism of the effects has, at present, been largely unknown. Theories of hidden knowledge and divine retribution were the subject of vital speculation and little investigation. I, Justinius Polinius... I've undertaken to thoroughly document the ailments afflicted by the Elder Scrolls on their readers, though a unified theory of how they manifest continues to elude me and remains a subject for future study. I have grouped the effects into four, finding that the avenue of experience depends largely on the mind of the reader. In this, If this is unclear, I hope that a proper dichotomy uh, will lay it plain. Group the first. The naifs, or naif. We're going to go with naif. No, mm-mm. Naif? Naif. 
Naif, yeah, Naif. The Naifs, for one who has received no training in the history or nature of the Elder Scrolls, the scroll itself is effectively inert. No prophecy can be scried, or nor knowledge obtained. While the scroll will not impart learning to the uninformed, nor will it afflict them in any adverse fashion. Visually, the scroll will appear to be a wash in odd lettering and symbols. Those who know their astronomy often claim to recognize constellations in the patterns and connections, but such conjecture is impossible to further investigate, since the very nature of the study necessitates unlearned subjects. Group the second, the unguarded intellects. It is this second group that realizes the greatest danger from attempting to read the scrolls. These are subjects who have an understanding of the nature of the Elder Scrolls and possess sufficient knowledge to actually read what is inscribed there. They have not, however, developed adequate discipline to stave off the mind-shattering effects of having a glimpse of infinity. These unfortunate souls are struck immediately, irrevocably, and completely blind. Such is the price for overreaching one's faculties. It bears mentioning, though, that with the blindness also comes a fragment of that hidden knowledge. Whether the future, the past, or the deep natures of being is dependent on the individual and their place in the greater spheres. But the knowledge does come. Group the third. Mediated understanding. Alone in Tamriel, it would appear that only the cult of the ancestor moth has discovered the discipline to properly guard one's mind when reading the scrolls. Their novitiates must undergo the most rigorous mental cultivation, and they often spend a decade or more at the monastery before being allowed to read their first Elder Scroll. The monks say this is for the initiate's own protection, as they must have witnessed many unguarded intellects among their more eager ranks. With appropriate fortitude, these readers also receive blindness, though at a far lesser magnitude than the unguarded. Their vision fogs slightly, but they retain shape, color, and enough vacuity to continue to read mundane texts. The knowledge they gain from the scroll is also tempered somewhat. It requires stages of meditation and reflection to fully appreciate and express what one saw. Group the fourth, Illuminated Understanding. Between the previous group and this one exists a continuum that has, at present, only been traversed by the monks of the Ancestor Moth. With continued readings, the monks become gradually more and more blind, but receive greater and uh, more detailed knowledge. As they spend their waking hours pondering the revelations, they also receive a further degree of mental fortitude. There is, for every monk, a day of penultimate reading, when the only knowledge the Elder Scroll imparts is that the monk's next reading shall be his last. For each monk, the penultimate reading comes at a different and unknowable time. Preliminary work has been done to predict the occurrence by charting the severity of an individual monk's blindness, but all who reach these later stages report that in the increasing blindness come, seems to taper with increased readings. Some pose the notion that some other unseen sense is, in fact, continuing to diminish at this upper range, but I shall leave such postulations to philosophers. To prepare for his ultimate reading, a monk typically withdraws to seclusion in order to, find, in order to reflect upon a lifetime of revelations and appoint his mind for reception of his last. Upon this final reading, he is forever blinded, as sure as those unguarded ones who race to knowledge. The illuminated one, though, has retained his understanding over a lifetime and typically possesses a more integral notion of what has been revealed to him. It is hoped that this catalogue will prove useful to those who wish to further our mortal understanding of the Elder Scrolls. The Moth Priests remain aloof about these matters, taking the gradual debilitation that comes with reading as a point of pride. May this serve as a useful starting point for those hoping to take up such study. All right. Ruminations on the Elder Scrolls by Septimus Cygnus. Imagine living beneath the waves with the strong sighted blessing of most excellent fabric. Holding the fabric over your gills, you would begin to breathe, drink its warp and weft. Though the plant matter fibers imbue your soul, the wretched plankton would pollute the cloth until it stank to heavens of prophecy. This is one manner in which the scrolls first came to pass, but are we the sea, or the breather, or the fabric? Or are we the breath itself? Can we flow through the scrolls as knowledge flows through, being the water, or are we struck? Are we the stuck morass of sea filth that gathers on the edge? Imagine again this time, but different. A bird cresting the wind is lifted by a gust and drowned by a stone. 
but the stone can come from above if the bird is upside down. Where then did the gust come from, and which direction? Did the gods send either, or has the bird decreed their presence by her own mind-making? The all sight of the scrolls makes a turning of the mind such that relative positions are absolute in their primacy. I ask you again to imagine for me. This time you are beneath the ground, a tiny acorn planted by some well-meaning elf maiden of the woodlands for her pleasure. You wish to grow, but fear what you may become, so you push off the water, the dirt, the sun, to stay in your hole. But it is in the very pushing that you become a tree, in spite of yourself. How did that happen? The acorn is a kind of tree egg in this instance, and the knowledge is water and sun. We are the chicken inside the egg, but also the dirt. The knowledge from the scrolls is what we push against to become full-sighted ourselves. One final imagining before your mind closes from the shock of ever knowing. You are now a flame, burning bright blue within a vast emptiness. In time, you see your brothers and sisters burning of their own in the distance and along your side. A sea of pinpoints, a constellation of memories. Each burns bright, then flickers. Then two more take its place, but not forever, lest the void fills with rancid light that sucks the thought. Each of our minds is actually the emptiness, and the learnings of the scrolls are the pinpoints. Without their stabbing lights, my consciousness would be as a vast nothingness, unknowing, it. unknowing its emptiness, as a void is unknowing of itself, but the burnings are dangerous. They must be carefully tended and minded and brought to themselves and spread to their siblings. Ah, a good straightforward text. Like, hey, where the hell do you think you're going? I don't trying to get some sleep. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, Sounds good, buddy. do you require assistance? Why do you think I'm talking to your ugly mug? Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but, well, that was years ago. Ugh, haven't heard from him since. All right, let's go find this batshit crazy priest who's digging up Dwemer crap. You know, we haven't been in a single Dwemer ruin yet, have we? Hmm. This better be good. Oh, dude. I believe I've made myself rather clear. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. Everybody's crazy you here. You are a college here at... Ah, uh, you know, he's not actually that far. Pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate uh, maybe we will dip over to his location. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Oh! 
old tribe here. Okay. I don't mean to slaughter your people, but kind of coming at me. Alright, well, uh, so much for you guys. to the chance. Should we grab the fast travel while we're here? Well, if it's easy, if it's easy. Ah, uh, we might as well. Smashing skeletons apart is extremely satisfying. Where the hell is Lydia? Ah, who cares? Yeah, you know what? I'll have to go drop off. I've got enough bear pelts for 10 by at this point, so. Might as well. Alright, we got some worker meat. Because 
Porker stew is actually one of the uh, decent things we can make for healing. Uh, should we go slaughter these weaklings? Hmm. Yes. Yes, we should. Get up. No, you did not just kill me. One hit. I had most of my, oh my God. The anger level's rising. It's rising. Oh God. Find the Thalmor no such treatment. Oh, I'm pissed. I don't know what it is about leveling up, but every time I level up and I'm in combat, it seems to be a really bad omen. Okay, so what's gonna happen? We're gonna call it here. Me up. We're gonna call it here for, ooh, oh, oh my. Is that water deep enough? Hmm. Okay, well, since it died anyway, let's see if the water is deep enough. I don't think it is, but uh, we're gonna try it. Oh yeah, be deep, be deep. Nope, that is some shallow ass water. Although, if we were a little closer, I think we might have survived. You may be used to <laughs> anyway, uh, this is where we're going to leave it for today. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I hope everybody's taking care of themselves. Um, oh, oh, oh. Glutton for punishment here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, uh... Alright, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was close. Oh, he lands it. All right, a little happier. We'll just get to shore here and we'll call it. Although Lydia is going to take absolutely forever to get over here. Oh, man, I'm going to have to take care of... Oh, we missed the reclaim fight. Um... Whatever, it's just a bunch of weaklings, who cares? Anyway, yeah, that's where we'll leave it. Um, thanks for stopping in, everyone. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one.